Hey guys, it's Johnny Tech Review. Today I have a review for you of this Powerlet T95 Android box. As you can see here, uh, this is pretty much the box. It's a pretty small size. It comes with a remote control and also a power supply. A uh, power supply cable is about 3 feet long, which is uh, quite annoying. Usually I like a longer power cable, but yeah, pretty much uh, it comes with a 3 feet power cable, so keep that in mind. Uh, this is the unit here. Quickly show you the unit. It's made out of metal here. And uh, after using it for about an hour or two, you will notice that it gets a little bit warm, but uh, not too bad. It's pretty nice. Front here, you have a little infrared uh, receiver, and then you have a little screen here that displays some information like the status and also the uh, clock. And then on the side here to the right, uh, you have a micro SD slot for expansion. You have an on the go port here, and then you also have here two USB ports. Uh, in the back here, you have a power supply uh, input, and then uh, AV out for audio, LAN, and then HDMI out. Here's the built-in antenna, this is for the Wi-Fi, and then uh, supporting Wi-Fi, this thing has uh, 802.11 A, B, G, and N. It does not have AC to keep that in mind, and that's pretty much about the whole unit. It's pretty simple. So this box here features an Amlogic S905 quad-core processor, clock at 2GHz. Uh, you also have a Mali 450 GPU, and that's at 8-core, and then you have a 1GB of RAM here for the memory, and uh, this thing uh, and then using run Android Lollipop 5.01. It's nice to have an Android Lollipop on these kind of box because uh, with one gig of RAM, uh, it's uh, sufficient enough to run and it's been pretty smooth. Uh, with the old KitKat, it was uh, stirring a little bit, but with the new Lollipop here, it works pretty well. Uh, so that's pretty much about the unit here. Uh, you also get a pretty nice remote control. This is a pretty full flat featured remote control. You can see here all your numpad down here, your volume channel changing here. You have your directional pad here. You also have access to a cursor if you need to move the cursor on the screen, even though this is pretty slow. You press it and then use one of these directional pad. And then up top here, you have all the different uh, setup and shortcut. You can see here your playback button. Uh, you stop working Cody and it works pretty well. And then the mute button and power button up top now. Uh, this thing takes two AAA batteries, so keep that in mind. So other than that, it's pretty simple. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the interface. So this is the launcher slash the interface of the T95 Android box. You have a pretty simple interface here, and up top here you have the home, and then you can go to favor, which is some of the favor application that you can put down. So you go to the home here, down here, of course you have Kodi, and you have a Kodi update, which basically just override all the add-on. So if you download a new Kodi, you can use Kodi update to add an add-on really quickly and easily. There's the app, uh, here's Dropbox and Calendar, and then down here you have Videos, if you click here, it'll take you to a category basically, and inside you have all these different applications. Uh, you just work with Netflix and Black's perfectly fine. We'll back up a little bit here to show you uh, some other stuff. Music, again, right here, some more Google Play here. And then here we have a little button that you can clean the memory. Right now using about 50% of the memory. We're going to hit it and it will take a second, it will cling, and then you have a browser and you have setting. So let's go ahead and go quickly to setting. As uh, you can see here, this is uh, Android 5 and you have all the simple setting here. So you can go to network, uh, check out all setting here. And currently I'm using the Ethernet line. Uh, I'll explain to you in a minute why. And then here we have, uh, you know, display, keyboard setting, etc. So now here you have all your local setting and even more setting. And you can go to your typical Android setting. So I will show you a video here, but uh, for some reason, since the last uh, update version of Plex a few days ago that I did, uh, now it doesn't play anymore. I don't know why. This is pretty much the error I'm getting. Um, so I've been trying to uninstall and reinstall it, but it's not working. So yeah, I don't know what's wrong with Plex currently, but I'll show you another one from Cody, which kind of give you an idea here. So here you can see it's running uh, Kodi 16 drivers and you have all the different plugin and stuff here. So this is streaming over my network, uh, this is from my NAS. And you can see right here it works pretty well and uh, streaming is pretty good. Uh, this is a uh, 1080p stream, it's pretty smooth, you can quickly uh, skim and uh, skip around no problem at all. So this box is uh, pretty nice and fast, especially if you are using the Ethernet route of course. So here you can see it's my YouTube, so I'm going to go ahead and pick something here to play. Can I give you an idea how fast it's low? So it's right now in the low quality, let's see if we can go on the higher resolution here because a lot of these box won't let you go higher than 720p. Again here I'm having the same issues. So it looks like it's stuck at 360p, this is very disappointing. So sometimes the YouTube app will detect uh, the, the device and uh, depending on the device it won't let you go higher than 720p, 1080p, etc. And this one here is uh, pretty low here as you can see, it won't let me go higher. Yep, I have a same similar issue, so uh, yeah, keep this in mind if you uh, watch YouTube a lot on this. Uh, this box is not that great in that aspect, I cannot go higher than the 
360p here which is quite disappointing so you can see here in the resolution uh, setting you can actually go up to 1080p here so I do not know why YouTube detected like that so yeah it's a combination of Android YouTube and YesBox so I don't know what which one it is so guys that's pretty much conclude my quick review of this T95 Android box as you can see though uh, everything run pretty smooth and works pretty well I have this box for about three weeks now we've been using it in our bedroom uh, it's run pretty smooth we mostly use this for Cody and sometimes Plex uh, Plex was having some issues recently and uh, after the app update I'm having a hard time running it on this box now other than that you saw the YouTube app it ran but uh, the resolution was really low and uh, I have no way to change that currently so I hope you showed a little review I hope you in your purchase decision and if you have any question just let me know in the comment below and as always stay tuned for future review. Thank you.